Hello, this is Michael Jill, and today I'm doing a review on this Vapcell U2 Dual Battery Multifunction Smart Charger. I feel like this charger doesn't get the credit that it deserves, and is actually a pretty cool charger with a lot of functions. And with the price point that it is at, I think it should be a lot more popular than it is. I bought it on Workhouse's website, and right now it's actually on sale for $12.60, but it's usually only $14, which is a pretty good price, and um, limited time offer. Right now, Workhouse has the cheapest price for sure. Um, I checked it on other websites and couldn't find anything cheaper, so I bought it from there. But they also have a bunch of other ones. They have this um, four-port charger, but it's not as uh, smart as that one, and it doesn't hold as many types of batteries. And then this one is their higher tier one, which is a four-port smart charger that uh, everyone gets and everyone recommends. However, um, this one was more budget-friendly for me, so that's why I bought it. And this one has more features than the Q2 has, the U2 has more than the Q4. So that's why I went with this U2 charger. So let's look at the packaging and see what kind of information it gives us. This is the list of batteries that it does. Um, this is a bunch of different features that it, ha that it has. And it does two amp charging, as you can see on the side, basically the same uh, information. Um, and over here are the list of features again. Over here is the input and output. Uh, it's running at 5 volts, 2 amps, which is very standard for a USB charger or anything that runs on USB. Uh, and it has different types of output depending on what kind of battery and what amperage the battery is. Uh, so let's look into it and see what we can find. So I'm going to do a quick unboxing. And inside are just three parts. You get the instructions, you get the cable, and you get the actual charger. Here are the instructions right here, and as you can see, it's a very short instruction manual. Uh, I'm going to hold it slowly so that way people could uh, pause it and read it if they would like to. Um, a lot of this information is redundant from the packaging, but here I am showing it anyway, just in case. And there you go. And here is the charger itself and the cable. So the cable is USB 2.0, and it's using a micro charger, which is a little bit uh, disappointing for me because I like everything to be Type-C, but at the price point, I can't complain. And here's the actual charger. As you can see, there are two bays, and it holds so many different types of batteries. This is a spring mechanism that can basically make it bigger or smaller, depending on how big the battery is. Here's some information on the back. It shows you the output and the input and uh, the different type of batteries they accept. So once again, you know exactly what it charges and you don't even need the instructions for that, which is nice. On the top, there is a bunch of different uh, icons and buttons that we will explain a little bit later. I noticed that there is a piece of plastic on top, so I'm gonna take that off actually. There we go. That's nice. And it's nice and shiny now, which is really good. So there are two buttons, the mode button and the current button. Something that I'm happy it has is that it has a lot of charging protection. It has overcharge protection and polar reverse protection. It also can detect a broken battery, so that's really nice. First, let's talk about the uh, power bank option. Uh, it has an, an input. This is a 5 volt input, and it says it does up to 2 amps, so that's nice. And over here is an output of 5 volts um, for power bank option. And now we're just going to quickly test the power bank option, and then we'll get into how the charger works and stuff like that. So we're going to just put this right in. Okay, and we're going to, with the included cable, see if one battery, and this is a 18650 battery, and we're going to see if it can charge my phone. So let's test it out. And there we go, with two 18650 batteries in here, we were able to get it to charge, although this one is a little bit sideways. Okay, so with one battery, it does not actually uh, work as a power bank, but it needs two batteries in order to work as a power bank. And this is my Samsung S5. As you can see, it's 99%. Um, this actually works on micro B, but also works on regular micro. So we can charge it. Um, let's plug it in. Okay, working on it. Ooh. There we go. And as you can see, it's charging now. It says charging right there, charging 99%. Um, and the power bank is showing that it's working. So you do need to, if I take one out, let me see what happens if I take one out. I think the whole thing just shuts down. Okay, maybe if I only have the right one in, not the left one. Oh, yeah. Okay, so the right one is the one that functions as a power bank, and the left one doesn't. So it is charging. It's at 98% and it's charging. So that's pretty cool. Um, I guess if I leave it for a little bit, it should fully charge. And as you see right here, it is charging up. Press the power button again. It's showing that it is charging. So that's pretty cool. And now it's at 100%. So uh, as you can see, this does work. So I guess as a last resort, this could be a really good power bank and a lifesaver. Um, it does make a little bit of noise when it's using the charger. So uh, 
kind of keep that in mind. So in the instruction, it gives you a guide about how many uh, amps you should be using depending on what kind of battery it is. And as far as the mode, it should detect the battery automatically, but if it doesn't, you should change it to the right mode. There are some batteries that it can't identify automatically, like the lithium ion battery 3.7 volts and the 3.8 volts one. So uh, we have to make sure that's the right one. So let's test it out and see what we have to do in order to get to work. So over here we have our 18650 from before. Uh, it is running out on power, so we're going to put it in. And as you can see right here, it is lithium ion, right? Uh, 3.7 volts at 3000 milliamps. So let's put it in the right one because that one seems like the main one, I guess. And let's see what happens. So as you can see on the top right, it's blinking. And on the top right here, it says lithium ion 3.7 volts. So it's the right one. It actually found the right one right away. But if it doesn't, you click mode and then you can switch to a different one. Uh, since it was able to detect it, so therefore it will let it will not let me change it. And um, as you can see, it's charging up. And over here, um, the lights tell you indicate how far along the charge it is. So we have 25, 50, and 75, and 100. And it will let you know when it's done. Uh, automatically put it at 0.5 amps. And technically we could put it higher, but I'm just gonna leave it at 0.5 uh, because um, I'm not sure exactly how much this charger, uh, this, this charger that I'm using, I'm not sure how much output it has. So I'm just gonna leave it at that. But if you do have a charger that has an output higher, for example, this JBL charger right here, I'm not sure if you could see, I could barely see it myself, but if you zoom in over there, uh, it says output three point uh, two point three, so uh, you can use this charger at two amps because if you're using this power adapter, um, you're able to charge this uh, charge the batteries in here at two point three amps. The charger that I'm using right now is connected to somewhere else, which I don't know the exact amp or amperage. It's already charging up pretty quick and it's getting warm. Uh, I am going to switch it out and see if it could charge up another battery. This is an eighteen six fifty. Let's see if it could handle an eighteen three fifty. It says it can, so let's see. And it also is, it should be the same, um, same amount of volts. It is 3.7 volts, and uh, it should be charging at the same amount. And this one is almost a full battery, so uh, it basically was already a full charge. But if you see mode, it also has 3.7. Um, I could also change it to higher current. Um, actually, it's not letting me. Uh, apparently, my charger is not uh, strong enough to handle it. So now that my 18350 is charged, let's try another battery. Um, I have this Sofrin flashlight here, and it has uh, 16340, I think that's what it's called. Yeah, a 16340 inside, and it's 3.7 volts as well. Let's see how well it handles this. Let's put that in there. Let's see what happens. 3.7 volts, and it's fully charged. Uh, well, it's charging to a full charge. Now this battery is a AAA battery, really old, and so is this AA battery. Let's see if it's able to charge it or if it determines that it's broken. First let's put the AA in, and take that out. And it's saying that it is 1.2 volts. Is that true? I don't know, but we'll figure out soon. And it is charging it at uh, also 0.5 amps. And these AA batteries are in fact 1.2 amps, so it did get that right. Now let's try this one, let's just check it beforehand to see how many amps it is, um, volts I mean. So right here in little teeny tiny letters it says 1.2 amps. I don't know if you can see it because the light might be shining on it in a weird way. But let's try it out, we're going to put it right in there. Okay, these are a little bit harder to get in. It's getting in and it does say that it's 1.2 amps over there. As you can see right here, that's 1.2. Okay, and it's charging it up. That's pretty awesome. Um, hopefully it can actually charge it because these are so old. I only have one 21700 battery and that's because I have this Workos TS25. We're going to take it out. It's a large battery, much bigger than a AA or AAA, and we're going to test it out. Um, I don't know where the plus and minus is. Let me see if I can find it right here. So this is 3.6 volts. By the way, uh, I noticed that uh, on the AAA battery um, that it was not an NIM NIMH. Rather, it is called... Um, uh, not lithium ion, instead it's nickel um, MH, so, and the AA also. So keep that in mind, um, uh, it, it did detect it automatically, and as you can see right here, there are options for that right here. Um, and right here also there are options for NIMH, and then there's also IFR, which I don't know what that is, but I guess it can detect your battery there. And sorry, let's get to charging. Um, so the plus, which is um, the side with the thing sticking out, for some reason on this side it has this, um, but I'm going to put it right in, and as you can see it does fit, 
um, and it says it's 3.7 volts, even though it says over here it's 3.6, uh, but whatever, um, it's working, um, and it almost has a full battery anyway, so uh, it's just finishing up the charge. Um, and let's see, maybe I could change the current on this. Nope, still 3.5, uh, still 0 0.5. Okay, the last battery I have is the 14500 battery, and I got this from the TS, um, uh, TS10. It's the TS10 right here, the Workos TS10. Um, and that's a very famous flashlight. Um, it's tiny and it's really good. And this is not a AA battery, rather it's a 14500 battery. And it is, let's see the voltage, 3.7 uh, volts. So it should automatically detect again. And let's see, yep, 3.7 right there. And it's gonna start charging right now. Uh, so I really bought this charger for this battery because um, the TS10 does not actually have a built-in charging port, which is the only thing I don't really don't like about it. It's a tiny little flashlight. It's even smaller than um, than a lot of the other small flashlights that I have. It is really tiny. I really like it. However, it does not have a um, a a recharger built into it like a lot of the other flashlights do. For example, this is the um, FC11 from Workos. And right here, as you can see, it has a built-in charger, so you could just charge it. You don't have to take the battery out, which is really nice. One last thing that I want to mention is it cannot charge this battery, and this is a um, ICR123A uh, battery, 3.0 volts. And as you can see right here, there is no option for a 3.0 volts. Uh, but it did say that it did say you could charge any rechargeable battery, so. Um, I don't know why it can't charge this battery. Um, anyway, um, thanks for watching. I hope this helped you. Uh, I know this was a longer uh, review. Uh, it was me just basically testing it out. Um, I, I haven't seen anything on YouTube uh, about this. And um, for, for $12.50, it's for sure worth it. Uh, much better value than some of the other chargers. I have this wall charger over here. I have this unbranded charger right here. I have this Energizer charger right here. Um, but none of them tell me like when it's actually charged. The Energizer just counts eight hours and then stops charging it, which is a really bad practice. And this one is a USB charger. Um, very interesting. Um, but this one so far is the most reliable and uh, looks like it would work the best. So I'm just gonna uh, probably get rid of all the other chargers. Um, I hope this helped you and I know it was a long review and a lot of stuff. Um, I was just basically going through everything I had and seeing uh, what worked and what didn't. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Um, and please subscribe. Thumbs up if you like this video.